Hello children, welcome back to this learning channel. Hope we reach you with no technical glitch. Children, learning is not enough, you must apply. Willing is not enough, you must do. I hope you understood the meaning. Children, start practicing the lesson what you have learned in the previous class. What was it? With no gender discrimination, try to respect each other. Try to contribute your maximum potential for the sake and the welfare and the upliftment of the society as it is a need of the hour. Do you agree with me? Yes. Christian Lagarde says, she prepares a woman to liberate herself from the evil clutches and the poison tentacles of life with three components that is about three L's, learning, labor and leadership. Why not we follow that? Yes, we should. Here I would like to quote a saying of Pearl S. Buck. It goes thus, Men and women should consider the world as a common possession. Why? Is it necessary? Yes, of course. How can a bird fly with a single wing? No, not possible. In the same way, a world can thrive, it can come up to the level only when the contribution from both the sides, men and women, is equally received. So children, hope we will follow this principle in our life, respect each other, love each other and move forward for the sake of the world. Yes children, if you hear to the word women, whose picture flashes to your mind immediately? Keep the question aside. We will get back with a short break, lending your ears for the melodious song. No doubt, you will seek the support of the tissues. Yes, did you listen to it? What was it all about? You are right. It is all about the unconditional, purest form of love of a mother, praising her. Do you love your mother? Yes, of course, why not? Yes, maternal love is amazing. The relationship of the person who gave us life is amazing, wonderful. Who on earth will have more patience to us than a mother? Have you thought about it? Do you think that your mother is an important figure in the house? Have you ever thought about her absence in the family? Difficult to think, right? Totally messy. She is the one who puts the things in the right order. Have you ever been grateful to her? Does she expect anything in return? No. Limitless is her love with no change. Her presence is like a salt. Her presence is like salt. Never appreciated, but absence is felt. Can you deny that? No. Now to the chapter. Let us dedicate this class to all the moms of this universe for their purest form of love. Be it any woman, a civilized lady or a woman from a rural setup. She remains the same all around the world when she turns to be a mother. Life on earth or life with a family is unimaginable without the presence of a woman. Now we have a poem, Any Woman by Catherine Tynan. She is an Irish poet who is very fond of her children too. She celebrates and glorifies a woman paints the picture with words and nothing at home happens without her notice or knowledge. This is a metaphorical poem with first person narration. Okay, what is a metaphor? It is an implied comparison. It is a figure of speech that directly refers to one thing by mentioning the other. It has a hidden similarity between the two objects. 
okay and the speaker of the poem is the poet herself the theme of the poem is women centric or the selfless love that a mother tries to contribute to the family yes it is a voice for a woman by a woman it portrays a multifaceted role of woman where she cares worries tries to hold the burdens of the family to hold the family together she is like a glue and she also turns to be the synonym of sacrifice now shall we begin with the poem okay yes any woman by katherine time i am the pillars of the house the keystone of the arch am i take me away and roof and wall would fall to ruin me utterly i am the fire upon the hearth i am the light of the good sun i am the heat that warms the earth which else were colder than a stone at me the children warm their hands i am their light of love alive without me cold the hearthstone stands nor could the precious children thrive i am the twist that holds together the children in its sacred ring their knot of love from whose close tether no lost child goes a wandering i am the house from floor to roof i deck the walls the board i spread i spin the curtains warp and off and shake the down to be their bed i am their wall against all danger their door against the wind and snow thou who my woman laid in a manger take me not till the children grow take me not till the children grow it turns to be a prayer last two lines you can see thou who a woman laid in a manger take me not till the children grow you can also call it as a dramatic monologue where the mother or the woman speaks to herself so who is the listener the passive listener turns to be the god fine we'll begin with the poem any woman be it any woman as we have said in the introduction be it any woman a civilized woman or a woman from a rural setup it is for everyone i am the pillars of the house the keystone of the arch am i who is the speaker of the poem i the poet herself mother herself says i am the pillars of the house very confident about it she has no doubt she doesn't expect anybody's acceptance or uh, approval i am the pillars of the house without me nothing can survive i am the pillars what is a pillar support you know the parts of the house you know pillars doors windows beam arch your cot your dining table so here she wants to say that i am the pillar so this is the metaphorical usage i am the pillar directly she says she doesn't say like a pillar i am the pillar i am the pillars of the house pillars you know the post that supports the house or the walls so the role of the pillar is to support so who is like a supporter mother 
mother is supporting i am the pillars of the house the keystone of the arch am i arch you have seen arch what is the keystone keystone is the topmost stone of the arch the final stone which is laid over the top of the arch that gives shape and structure to the arch as well as it holds the tension of the building too the important role she becomes an integral part of the family she gives structure to the family she has no doubt about it she enjoys a space in the house and she herself declares that asserts that i am the pillars of the house the keystone of the arch am i the i am the main support very proudly she declares i am the main supporter of the house see to the third line take me away take me away whom do you want to take away if you take away the pillars what will happen to the building it will collapse it will get destroyed the same which is take me away who is this me mother take me away and roof and wall will fall down would fall to ruin me utterly the whole building the structure of the family will be destroyed ruining myself too utterly completely it will be spoiled the family's value will be spoiled so she declares i am the integral main part of the family i take a vital role in giving a structure to the family shall we begin with the second stanza i am the fire upon the hearth i am the light of the good sun i am the heat that warms the earth which else were colder than a stone i am the fire upon the hearth hearth a fireplace have you seen the fireplace yes where people gather around the fireplace the whole family members can sit around the fireplace and get warm and a fireplace without fire is it useful can we use it no she says i am the fire fire what is the duty or responsibility of fire it burns itself sacrifices itself i am the fire upon the hearth hearth gets a meaning only with the presence of the fire so i am ready to burn myself why to provide warmth for my family i am the light of the good sun sun the source of energy light for the whole earth with no discrimination with no biased feeling it gives energy for the whole world the same way i provide light good sun it does only good without the presence of sun can you imagine a life on earth no it comes to still still it becomes cold i am the fire upon the hearth i am the light of the good sun i am the heat that warms the earth who is the heat i am mother says i am the heat that warms it i give the energy to the earth without the sun as we said earlier without sun life on earth existence is not going to be possible if i am not the earth will become lifeless it go it goes to be cold which else were colder than a stone without her life house will collapse or it become cold like a stone she says that you can never avoid me i become that emotional connection i am the fire upon the hearth i am the light of the good sun i am the heat that warms the earth without me how can you survive in this family or in this world which else were colder than a stone 
so she, she says that she is more powerful than the sun without me nothing can survive mother see have we ever appreciated the role of a mother in a family never she says again at me the children warm their hands how can they warm their hands at me i am fire i am burning i am sacrificing so whenever they need to get warm the love affection they can come to me warm their hands and warm i can give them energy i can give them confidence i can give them power i can give them life i can give them light at me the children warm their hands because i am the fire i am their light of love alive light of love i give the way with love i show them the way i give them the light with love for their life to be survive to move on with their life to brighten up their lives at me children warm their hands i am their light of love alive without me cold the hearth stone stands hearth stone the basement stone of the hearth so that stone should be so strong enough to maintain or to have the heat of the fire so without me cold the hearth stone stands nor could the precious children thrive without my energy without my light without my love without my warmth no children can thrive that is the precious children children are considered to be so she has only one design in her life it is children she says no precious children can thrive without my presence shall we move on to the next one i am the twist that holds together the children in its sacred ring they are not of love from whose close tether no lost child goes a wandering i am the twist that holds together twist where the thread what thread the sacred ring it seems ring it is a rope okay rope the rope has to get binded with each other only then it can form a ring so you can feel the perfection of unity the wholesomeness oneness there i am the twist that holds together i twist myself you have seen the thread twisting itself so i take the pain of twisting myself to hold together everybody in the sacred ring why the sacred ring so it is so divine that love that affection the holy space white says that is a holy space the sacred ring of a mother is a holy space it is a love ring the mother creates herself to have a bonding with the children they are not of love from whose close tether no lost child goes a wandering tether have you seen tether it is a rope that is used to tie the animals while they go for a grazing you have seen them right they have their own space to move ahead to get to collect or to have their own grazing time but beyond that it is not possible because that is a place for their freedom as well as for their safety and security in the same way mother says they are not of love i tie them with the bond of love it is not with hatred she binds children or the family together they are not of love not bonding binding from whose close tether i tie my children with a knot of love and i give them space to move anywhere within the sacred ring so that they are safe and secured 
what happens no lost child goes wandering they will not break this chain and go away if you tie a child with the bonds of love no child can break the rope and go wandering fine is that clear yes we'll move on to the next stanza i am the house from floor to roof she has declared herself to be everything of the family everything of the house she says nothing in the family happens without my knowledge or in my absence though you never appreciate my presence i know whatever happens here nothing can escape my gaze i am the house from floor to roof beyond that what it has i deck the walls i decorate the walls De decorate the walls i wish to provide something happiness in the house i know the taste and interest of the family members and accordingly i present beautify my house the board i spread the board i spread a table i arrange a table and prepare and serve food according to your taste and then i spin the curtains war and spin the curtains you have curtains at home you can twist it open close everything you can warp and woof the curtains how it is woven the fabric is woven you have seen warp and woof it is in weaving you can see looms the vertical lines and the horizontal lines that links that binds that strengthens up the fabric i am like that i spin the curtains warp and woof and shake the down to be their bed i set everything from morning till evening i set everything until they go to bed i take care of them i set their bed also here it is a reference to a mother bird you have seen birds right they set their nest they lay their eggs they hatch it up and before hatching you have seen the birds how they set the nest for the comfortness of their nestling they collect the hay straw leaves dried leaves twigs from here and there and make it as a bed and finally what they do is they pluck their feathers they drop their feathers to make it as a soft cozy bed for the nestlings i do care my children to have a comfortable day comfortable place to rest okay again she says i am their wall against all danger wall symbolism yes it is a protection i am their wall against all danger i protect them i stand like a shield when any issues they face i go outside fight a battle with others and rescue them from the issues i am their wall against all dangers their door against the wind and snow we have doors and windows when the climate is okay we open it and keep and when it is not favorable we close it and keep the same way she says if any external force problems wind and snow is like the problems issues if any issues my children happen to face i stand like a door and protect them i see to them if the condition is favorable i let them out and if not i protect them i keep them inside i close the door shut the windows everything and i keep them safe inside If any problem comes i stand there as a warrior fight a battle for them and protect them because they are my children 
I do all these things. I have never expected anything in return from the family. I have not minded about anybody else whether they have cared me or not. So finally she comes with two lines. Thou whom, a, whom sorry, thou whom a woman laid in a manger, take me not till the children grow. She comes with a prayer request. Take me not until the children grow. Please God, give me my life back until my children, they could take care of themselves. God, you know. So here manger, what is the manger? It is a place, a trough where animals are kept in a stable and food is provided. Like a cow shed. So here you can immediately get to the reference who took birth in a manger? Yes, Jesus Christ. So it turns to be a prayer to Jesus Christ. My dear God, God, even you were laid by a woman in the manger. So you know the care and the troublesome feeling of a mother. Even you were laid in a manger. So I request you, I plead you, I pray to you, please don't take my life till my children grow. I am ready to come to you. But until the children grow, until they can help themselves, serve themselves good, take me not until my children grow. So don't take me away. I need to be there like a support, like a warrior. I have to fight the battles for the sake of my children. I have to protect them. I have to provide them food. I have to take care of them. I have to provide them warmth, light, love, affection, everything. So please don't take me away. So it turns to be a prayer from a woman. Be it any woman, that is what. Be it any woman, condition remains the same. A civilized lady or a woman from a rural city. So here we have come across the poem. I have given you the meanings and I said it is metaphor. We have explained the definition of metaphor. And here we have so many metaphorical expressions like pillars, keystone, fire upon the earth, light of the good sun, everything. And one more thing, you have a repetition of I, I in the beginning of the sentences. I am the pillars of the house, I am the fire upon the uh, heart, I am the light I. So this repetition of I at the beginning of the sentence is called anaphora. Fine. So this is what the poem Any Woman is. Why does it claim such an importance at this time? Nowadays, the presence of mother is not never felt at any home. She is not considered at all. She has no time or space to speak. That is what we have to give importance to mother, take time to speak. Do you all love your mother? So now it's time for you to take a big hug, give a good kiss, a lovable kiss to your mom and say, I am there for you mom. If she had not supported you when you were infant, you would not have reached this age. I do agree with that. This adolescent age, you give more importance to your peer group than to your parents, but still it is not that good. You need your friends, but more equally you need your mother too. Yes, children, speaking about the poetic devices, I have already said it is full of metaphorical connection, touch, and also about anaphora, repetition of I, I said. 
and also it contains visual and tactile images. So, visual and tactile images, visual images like house, heart, all those things are visual images and then heat, cold are all tactile images. It has a hymn like tone and also it turns to be a prayer from the side of a mother and then about a rhyming scheme we can see avoiding the other than the first stanza all the other stanzas have the rhyming scheme as a b a b fine okay then about the rhyming words you can check to it and to conclude it let me say two sentences and stop be it worst or best mother stays with you always she reminds with you always giving you a healthy hand and let me tell mother is the first friend the best friend and forever your friend fine yes i know you know that thank you for listening and for your homework write the appreciation of this poem first and then to the next page you have a poem toys so in 12th standard it is like giving an unknown poem and writing the appreciation it's like a comparison so what you are supposed to write is about the title about the theme about the poet about the relevance of the theme to the contemporary life and then about the summary of the poem the given poem as well as the note your poem what you have studied and then about the poetic devices used the language of the poet and then your own conclusion by the end this is how you can frame an appreciation or a comparison of a poem given poem as well as the poem you have studied so your homework is the appreciation of the poem with a comparison to the poem given in your textbook toys thank you for watching